Broker IPTV. Today we're talking with Greg Morris, CEO of Fuller & Company Commercial Real Estate. Greg, welcome back. Love to have you. Thanks. We were joking on the phone that, uh, you know, you always keep up with everything. You're right on top of it. You're a, you're a news guy and you go on vacation uh, in September and we have the worst credit crisis begin in maybe 50 years. That had to be incredibly frustrating for someone like you. Well, I'd like to take full responsibility for the crash just because I was on 10. <laughs> no, no, it was uh, interesting to watch it from afar. Your thoughts on the turmoil that we've seen in the last month? Well, I think in a word, what we're seeing is a deleveraging at every level within the economy. On a personal level, you're going to see people with a lot less debt, um, more savings at a corporate level, a uh, lot less leverage. And I think that's going to be a healthy thing, frankly. Uh, if you, we look back at what has happened, we frankly were too leveraged and we were anticipating and planning on too much growth that at some point was going to stop and that's what we saw. How about the response? Were you a guy that was in favor of this bailout? Well, I think to answer that question, you have to look at what the alternatives were. I mean, there were not very many alternatives and if you compare what we're seeing today to the Great Depression of 1930s what happened back then of course we did not have the FDIC so you didn't have a safety net and number two and most importantly you didn't have any liquidity put into the marketplace and uh, as comparison now we're going to see 700 billion dollars liquidity put into the system and that's going to be healthy and one thing I think people have to remember is that uh, 700 billion dollars relative to a 14 trillion dollar economy is only about five percent so it's significant but it's not uh, gonna end the world I stopped watching the market on a daily basis for obvious reasons and stress level <laughs> because you watch it one day you're down 500 you're up 600 you're down 200 you're up a hundred uh, your take on what's going on there well I think it's right back to what I originally said about the deleveraging and you're taking stock prices from where they were which were probably unrealistic these companies frankly were not worth what they were trading at and now the sell-off has brought it down to a more realistic level um, one interesting fact that we need to take a look at that is I think a positive sign is let's take IBM for example their stock has dropped 25 percent in the last 60 to 90 days does that mean they're a 25 percent less of a company? The answer is no. And so what you're seeing now are these big U.S. large cap companies buying their stock back where they're saying, hey, this is a value. Our company did not devalue by this much. It's just been pulled down by the tide of the rest of the market. So, All right. So the average citizen is saying, how long is this going to take to recover? Uh, what's it going to take for things to kind of stabilize and level off? And your answer would be? Uh, if I have the answer to that, I would not be sitting here <laughs> with you right, right now. But, How about an uh, opinion? <clears throat> well, my opinion is uh, we're going to need confidence built back into the system, both at a consumer level and a, and a, and a global level. Uh, and that's just going to take time. I think the things that the federal government are doing right now uh, with the liquidity they're adding and some of the fundamentals we'll see moving forward uh, are positive. I think we're going to see a lot more regulation in the system, which is probably not a bad thing. Uh, we probably got away from regulating some of these financial institutions. And so it's going to take some time. But if you want a spot answer from me, I think a year from now we're going to be rolling along and things are going to be much better. And I think 2010 will be fully out of this thing. That's what I like to hear. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sure. Find more real estate videos at brokeriptv.com.